Arrived at Swade's Stuck, the second floor. Oh, we're getting late in the day now. Sora gave us 30 minutes of free time. Oh boy! This is kind of like the uh, Shonen's free time in the other pathway. We get to choose who we want to hang out with or where we want to go. Still didn't mean we could go running around as we pleased. And again, this is much quicker than the free time we got in Shonen's pathway. So, yeah, much sooner if this is free time. If it's the same kind of free time. So I had to randomly hit some of the rooms and search them. Sora held her hands out in front of her and a holographic window appeared. Unlike the floor below, all the scanning sensors in this floor seem to be functioning normally. This floor appears safer as well. Oh, Sugumi is on this floor. She seems to be walking in the vicinity of the elevator. Huh, maybe we should say hi. Pop in for a visit. You can tell that? Of course she can. Yes. Yes. I will work in the security office while monitoring everyone's activities. If a problem arises, I will announce it via the intercom. I really did think they would they would reveal Sora's the truth about her way earlier in this one, considering how much they much more they foreshadowed it, but I guess they're waiting until maybe we try to glance over the fact that the life readings are off and she's not bringing it up. Maybe to hope we don't notice the plot hole, but that seems a bit lazy. And if that is the reason, uh, I don't like it. But it's weird. There's way more foreshadowing for it in this one. But the cashew's just dense. If something happens, please contact me immediately. Uh, security office, it's like home base. Alright, okay then, we'll split up and meet in the security office in half an hour. Yes, ma'am, ma'am, sir, you, you ma'am, sir, ma'am. Yokai. <laughs> yokai watch. Okay, so it's like you take the watch, it's like pig Latin. It's like yokai, like yokai almost, but yokai. Yokai. Okie dokie. <laughs> Does PP count as a life reading? That's something I would ask. Never got an qu answer to my question in the other timeline about how if somebody is mentally fucking with Shonen. I don't think it's happening, but it's a possibility that, you know, someone was using those earphone plugs to mess with them and put that projection. And maybe that somehow is still related, but it seems more like it, it, it's trippier than that. But we'll see. Uh, I still, that's the kind of question I would have liked to ask, but I guess if it's not relevant, they don't need to answer it. But I want to know the answer. Mm. And especially the PP question, but whatever. Rough. Sure, whatever. After closing the holographic window, Sora went into a room a little ways down the corridor. Apparently, that was the security office. Everyone headed out in a different direction from the corridor intersection. Okay. I took my PDA out of my pocket and pushed the button. It was recharged and the backlight was working without a problem. Alright, thank Coco for her maracas later. Which at the time. Oh, what well, was there like a reset the time. Why? Because the battery died? Or was there daylight savings? Or uh, uh, uh. maybe a time zone shift? Now, nah, whatever the case. Reset the time. After that, I tested it a number of times, but it didn't seem to be able to make a call or go online. Of course I can't. We already know this. Maybe I ought to give up using this to get in touch with the outside. Push the PDA back in my pocket. I had 30 minutes left. Oh, do we get free time? Social links? I was trying to decide which area of the park to visit first. Seems like it. Yeah, social links! I think we got less options. I think last, in the other... I want to say in the other timeline we got like four or five choices. Whatever the case. We're gonna make a save. Um... Make it... Um... Uh, let's try to go across the bottom row for, row for choices. <clears throat> let's go... The security office is where we started. Uh, let's go souvenir shop. That sandwich shop. Or no, oh! Oh, that's different places. Places we didn't get to go to a shonen. That's interesting. They just think to go to different places. I like it. Adjacent to the corridor was a little room for visitors to rest, as well as shop, sell, shop as a, sell, uh, uh, theme park goods. Just sign with the lemur mascot on it. <laughs> yep, uh, lemur goods shop, I think it says. It says, Good, Lemur Good Shoy? Mm. 
Inger's translation. This was where I uh, had peeled the mascot costume off of the kid, who I do realize is the kid now, and yet I somehow don't recognize the sexy voice. How do you not recognize the sexy voice? You're crazy. Just... That lemur thing called Mew Mew. Yes, Mew Mew power! In the shop where those lemur stuffed animals next to all kinds of keychains, holographic pendants, seafood snacks, and other stuff, as well as lemur stuffed animals, does that mean, uh, uh, Tsugumi's there if she likes to cosplay it? Maybe. No, Shonen's there. Fitting. Okay. Uh, Shonen was sitting on the bench next to me. Oh, okay. We're gonna have a heart-to-heart -heart with my other main character. He wasn't really looking at anything, but his gaze seemed fixed. He's just... He's head... He's, he's face-palming so hard that he has to deal with, uh, the Yosuke being the main character, and himself not being the main character anymore. It's perplexing for him. He just kept staring at the ground. I expected to see a hole open up in the ground he was staring at so intensely. He had his hands on his temples. How's your headache, kid? Hey, first time... Again, though, the capital. That seems weird, but... First time somebody... Is that the first time someone just called him kid and not the kid? Maybe. Anyways. How's your headache, kid? Ugh. Uh... What's the matter? Did you find something? Or did you remember something? What? Uh, I, um... Uh... Who are you? Do we know each other? Yeah, we know each other. You're the one who was in the costume, and I, I thought that you were you were my uh, stalker girl, but no, that's a different girl. I just told you a bit ago. I introduced myself. I'm Takeshi. Takeshi Kuranari. Again, that last name. Where's that? Where was that in the other pathway? Ah, so that okay. Oh, is that right? Maybe is his voice actors listed in question marks because it's actually two different people, which the theory had very early on that sounded like two different people, one high pitched, one low pitched, and they're leaving a question mark. Either to hide the fact they had two, uh, although if they're hiding the fact that they had two, maybe it's because they didn't want to reveal that, like, they had to last minute replace somebody, so, like, the lines are inconsistent. Or, they, um, it's a plot detail that there's two, but I don't know. Is that right? <laughs> this is? This is? Oh, oh, is that right? This is? This is what? This is Sporta! What am I doing here? You don't even know why you're here, kid? Man, your amnesia's even worse in this pathway. Oh, great. It's that amnesia thing. Yeah. Yeah, that amnesia thing. Oh, I wish you'd just get over it, am I right? Yeah, entitled. Kid couldn't even remember what he had just said. That's... that's pretty mean. He definitely wasn't that dumb in the other pathway. He just moved from one topic to the next, forgetting the last. That's way worse than his amnesia in the other pathway. This is the marine theme park, Lemur. Something happened, and we're trapped here. Lemu. Lemur? Indeed. Actually, no, it's technically Lemu, but, yeah, Lemur. Basically. What do you mean, trapped? I mean, somebody trapped us in here probably willingly, and we're kind of fucked. That's what I mean. That's something I'd like answered myself, yeah. That's certainly not something that's a barrel of laughs. Eh,と... I've noticed that Takeshi isn't laughing as much now that I'm controlling him, which is probably for the best, because then it'd be like, Oh, I wish the voice. I missed the voice for the laughing. Anyways, Eto? And who are you? I'm Takeshi Kurinari, didn't I fucking t Oh my god, your amnesia is really bad in this pathway. That's a difference. Takeshi Kurinari. Kuranari Takeshi. Yes. Takeshi means samurai in Japanese. Oh yeah, time for Sudoku. I like Sudoku. Ah, uh, and where are we? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Maybe you should start taking notes. You know, keeping track of my name, other people, where we are and stuff, so you don't forget crap. Notes? Yeah, maybe I should. Do you even know what notes are? I guess you at least have some knowledge. Looks like you understand what taking notes means. Take good ones, even when you're eating. <laughs> yep. And if you can remember, you can make a memo of your name, too. I wonder if he's going to be as good a cook in this pathway as well. Takeshi, I mean. Or maybe he's going to be terrible when we get to control him. That'd be just perfect. Um, although, he, he brings up a good point about the notes. That's good on him. You know, his list of uh, accomplishments as main character so far are very few. And his list of derps are very many. But this is one of the accomplishments. So, good on you, Takeshi. I gave the I gave the Shonen Jump a memo pad and a pen I had flinched from the kiosk. You sure you didn't steal it from you? Because Yubi said I had that really bitchin' pen or marker that she loved to whip around. It was an all-purpose marker. Just want to make sure there's no exchanging of markers going on. Anyways. Arigato. 
。ありがとう、ミスターロバット。ねえ、ところで、今は何年なの ?Tell me what year it is? 2017! We're coming from one year in the future! You forgot that too? Mm. Yeah. It's 20. Uh, what year is it? Are you kidding me? God, did, didn't he make that same mistake in, in his other pathway too? God, that's pretty dumb.、Um, I searched around in my pocket. My entrance ticket stub was crumped and, and stuck in the back of my PDA. Oh, that's right, it's 2017. Take notes, write it down. There you go. Proof positive that it works. But yeah, that's, that's really stupid. How do you forget the fucking year, man? Like, maybe if you're really old, like in your 30s, 40s, years will fly by for you. But you're, come on, you're 20. How do you forget the fucking year when you're 20? Unless you have amnesia, which I don't think you do, or do you? Plot twist, he has the bigger amnesia. Got it, 2017. Indeed. He was taking it down. So, do I mention you have a baby face in this pathway as well? I remember that. Looked like he hadn't forgot how to take notes. Didn't we already just say that? You're, now you're the one forgetting things. Well, okay, no. He, he said that he, he remembered what notes are, and now he's saying he remembered how to take notes, but one kind of leads to the other. I, I would assume. So, why do you want to know the year? Why not, right? I mean, that's the first thing. Because he thinks he's like John Connor. No. No, goddammit. He's trying to save John Connor. Oh,、uh, Reese. Is his name Reese? I want to say his name is Reese's Pieces. Yeah, he's like, yeah, that's the guy who wanted to. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kinda. What? That's not a correct answer. That's not. No. No. Kind of. I see. Good point. I thought that if I heard my, the year, I might at least be able to remember my birthday. Didn't work, did it? I see. Come to think of it, you don't even know how old you are, huh?、Mm. No, I don't. By the looks of it, I'd say you're not a day over 42. <laughs>、uh, that's cute. That's, oh, is 34 gonna be a magical number in this one as well? Or maybe they're gonna switch it to like 42 or something. But, um. Oh, that reminds me. Is that the same number?、Uh, I'm remembering when Shonen was talking with you and said, Oh, you're. No. Um. No, no, because you said, Do I look like I'm gonna be 34? And Sh- that's the joke, because Shonen said that.、So、never mind. But maybe this is the point where I say he looks like he has a baby face, if they still do it that way. But yeah. No, I deal with 42. Huh? <laughs> What? <laughs> Surprised the kid felt his face. <laughs> I'm kidding, relax, there's no way. Oh my gosh, that reminds me so much of a certain spoiler. Um. I won't say what it is, but you guys know. If you know, you know. Oh, that's funny. Anyways, you're probably in the neighborhood of 14 or 15. If you are 18, you got a baby face. And if you are 42, you got a super baby face. Good thing you checked, though. You wouldn't want that jumping up on you out of nowhere. Jeez, don't tell me you've got your own face. This <laughs> is. Uh. Uh. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm laughing so hard on the inside. Anyways.、Oh. The face? <laughs> yeah. You know what a face is, right? Face off. You take your face off. Uh, if you're worried about it, go take a look in the monitor. You could sketch a self portrait in case you forget it later. Uh, uh, so she'll come out. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe for all, our, all we know, in our, in our respective pathways, our faces do look different because we never get to see ourselves. We see Shonen after the time skip in the epilogue, but we never see his face otherwise, so maybe he does look different in that pathway. Maybe I look different. These are all things that could be potential plot twists, so you can't rule them out. Jeez, he's got it rough. But his serious expression with, had, had relaxed. That at least was good. Alright, well, I'm gonna get going. When it's time, you come to the security office. Uh, k b i t Security office? <laughs> Where's that? Where's this again? Oh my god, man. So, have you started taking those notes yet? Like, jeez. Uh. Oh, that's really bad. You have it really rough in this pathway. I guess this is why I do have to step up. I mean, even though you seem sm- like you still seem like you're, you're just as smart, I think.、Um, so you're better off than I am in general, but with your memory being that bad, it's no wonder I have to step up as the main character. I don't have a choice. All the potential alphas are gone. Mayo was pretty alpha ish, too. Coco isn't nearly as alpha ish. Losing a lot of the,、um, the backbone of our operation. 
ごめん、わからないよ。So I really don't know. Wow. Wow. Okay. This will be a fun exploration. It's alright, I understand. If you don't come, I'll come looking for you. Hey, bromance is fun for me. Takeshi and Shonen had a bit of a relationship in Shonen's pathway, but it wasn't much of one. Maybe we'll get more of one when we're with Takeshi. That'd be interesting. Okay, thanks, Takeshi. Hey, you remember my name! Hey, you remember it. Takeshi, daro? Namae. Takeshi's your name, right? It is. Do you remember the other part? Kid had been taking notes, and sure enough, there it was. There you go. My name is Takeshi on his pad, but spelled wrong. Oh well, who cares? As long as he knows the pronunciation. The Mercios, situation normal. Uh, what? Oh, okay, cool. Um. Alright, what, where next? Uh, going back to the security office before going to the other place. I remember doing that in the other in the other timeline as well. I don't think it amounted to much, but I kind of like doing that. Let's try it. So it said that she'd be working in the security office. I wonder what she was doing there. Oh, maybe I can actually find out the plot twist early. Besides, she was the only one that had been doing desk work the whole time we've been trapped. Imagine she'd be getting a different kind of tired from what we get walking around. Mentally tired, maybe, if that's a thing that AI can get. And so I was thinking that I knocked on the security office door. Wait, security? But isn't she- wait, no. Isn't the control room where she normally is? At least in the other timeline? Unless it has, like, a different name in this timeline plot twist, because I- No, the conference room! That was, like, our home base where we always met up and had parties or whatever. I don't know if we've been there in this timeline yet, but, um... Yeah, but, um... I guess in this it's a bit different. At least so far it's a bit different. Knock knock, who's there? Hello? Sorry, are you there? Wait, you know, oh, I know the security room. That's right, that's the place where me and you tried to break tried to break in. Find out the information on her father and, and mother and stuff, and um, you know, Sora went into, you know, evil hell mode, and Maya went all super hacker mode, and it was awesome. And yeah, that's something that um well, what was I gonna say? That's, uh, that's, um, yeah, that's, that's what happened in the security room, so that's where she is. She switches between them. She's in the control room a lot, and that's where she was when I had to free time in Shonen's pathway, but in this pathway, uh, she's in the security room. Okay, I got those two confused in my head, now I know. Anyways, wait, this metal door is so thick, you couldn't even hear me if you were. But she can hear me anyways, because she's an AI. Or maybe not? Push the button in the intercom in the panel next to the door. Sora didn't reply. Maybe she's on sleep mode. I wonder if she isn't in there. The door wasn't locked, so I pushed the open uh, button and it opened. And maybe then she magically appeared? The security office was small. And it was dirty. It was stanky. Uh, the front wall was packed with monitors. They were all stained dark from cigarette smoke. Oh boy. And ashtrays were stacked up like it was normal. There was a huge sm sign plastered in the wall that said no smoking. Good. Don't like smoking. I remember that from the other pathway too, and I made a little rant about how I don't like smoking. So yeah, that at least is consistent. Recall the sloppy uh, club room back at college. Had 25 years of history uh, being only used by guys, and couldn't help but chuckle. Oh, how sexist. I restrained myself and kept looking. Sora wasn't there. She's not a guy, so it's understandable. What? What about the coffee machine? Did you see that? Or maybe that's only important in Shonen's pathway. Sora? Hey, Sora, where are you? I didn't think you were the type to go running off without telling anyone. Took another step inside the room, and she magically appeared. Yeah. Is she naked? Ah! All the windows in the wall monitor are open and closed. What? Did Takeshi, when did you get here? Is she changing virtual clothes? I mean, what? For some reason, the voice sounded like it came from the shadow of the desk. Uh, maybe she's inside the machine right now. That would be interesting. She She's not visible at the moment. She'd have to form herself. She's in the middle of doing her howl things before she gets good howlatized. There's a blind spot and I couldn't see Sora. Ducking under the desk, changing clothes. Is there going to be a sexy situation that comes about from that that we know isn't, isn't actually sexy because we've seen ahead in the other pathway? Are you here, Sora? Uh, I thought you'd probably be all stressed out from the work and situation, so I came to take a look. What are you doing in that weird place? Approach the rear of the desk as I talked. Is she trying to keep it a secret still? Because I thought she didn't care. Ah, 
I'm not Takeshi. No, please don't. Let me guess. The joke is that she's changing. But again, why is she keeping it a secret? I thought it was just a, like she didn't think to tell us the other pathway. I don't know. Huh? I'm busy right now. So the joke is that you're changing. That'd be nice if it was true. Couldn't see her face, but she sounded embarrassed. If you don't mind, can you wait outside for a little bit? Yeah, I think that is the joke. And Takeshi's not even getting the joke. He should at least internally be, be ha make, poking fun at that, but he's not. She spoke hesitantly. Oh, are you changing? Hey, he realized it! Hey! He's at least not quite as love dense as Shonen. Well, it's arguable if that counts as love dense, but it's just... He's still more generally dense, but doesn't have quite as bad amnesia. Anyways, I'm sorry. Uh, no, not exactly, but I suppose it is something like that. Uh, there we go, something like that. Uh, Takashi, you aren't going to change? Uh, why would I change while you're changing? That'd be really weird. If you don't mind employee work outfits, the changing room is directly behind this door. Just turn on the corner of the corridor and you'll find it. Why would I change? I never- Takeshi never changed in the other pathway. Is there a reason for him to change in this one? Is he wet? Did he get wet? I don't remember him getting wet. Nah, I'm alright. Just a little damp and uncomfortable. But I'm used to it. Of course you are. So desu Plus, it'd be a big tease if he changes in a pathway where we can't even fucking see his clothes. Anyways. I'm sorry, but I'm still working. I need to concentrate. But I'll be done by the appointed time. Oh, that's good. Sorry to bother you. I'll go look around a little more. How long have they got to hold out in the sore reveal on this one? They're making it so much more obvious on this one. Okay, good luck. Thank you. During our whole exchange, Sora was hidden and I didn't see her. I went in Sora's direction, though I figured she couldn't see me, and head for the exit. It's not good for you to stay coped up in here. Take a break once in a while. Said it without looking back. Okay, but please do not worry about me. <laughs> I like my work. If I really get into it, I can go for days without sleep just fine. Hey, that makes you a really good employee! You know, especially good if we don't realize that you're an AI. And if we do realize, I guess AIs need sleep too. AIs are people too? Question mark. AI, AI forward movement. Sleep without days? That's insane. Um, wait. Sleep without days. Something tells me that's backwards than the way it should be. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't really understand what she meant. But I suppose she's probably in really into a job. Well, she kind of is her job. Imagine that system engineer was probably. Just an occupation that drew interesting types and felt satisfied with that. Security office situation normal. This isn't something we ever really got with Shonen, was it? I don't think so. It feels new. Anyways, the dolphin merry-go-round. It's all that's left. I'm guessing we're gonna meet Sagumi, but maybe we'll have around with you, or even around with Coco, or we're even ever fi find our first imaginary round with uh, Maya, because I think that has to happen sooner or later. The question is, will it happen with Shonen, or will it actually happen with me? Now that it's with Shonen, we can't really see my own this path, which would be a huge shame. Anyways. Head to the room with the attractions. There was a carousel there. Only instead of horses, it was uh, set to a dolphin theme. It looked like its official name was the Dolphin Carousel. With no visitors around, the ride seemed a little spooky and very lonely. Even the dolphins themselves look sad. Okay. Whoa, and then it suddenly let it up. Maybe Sora realized you were there and was like, Yay, surprise! Maybe. Suddenly a happy melody started and the ride began to move. Of course, no one was riding it. All of a sudden, ding! It no longer seemed so lonely, but that much more spooky. Beautiful. Maybe there's a beauty in the spook. What is this? Watch out, this place is haunted! Ah, uh, ah, uh, hey, you believe in ghosts too. High five to Shonen. He also believes in that crazy stuff. Even thinking about it gives me the creeps. And from somewhere I heard someone snickering. Uh, is it Coco? Is it you? Tsukumi would not snicker, I don't think. You're still just as cute even in this pathway, you. 
Okay, so, you'd think they'd give Coco some love if, you know, this is the path where she gets more time to shine, arguably. But, nope, it's just you again. Don't even give my love interest time to shine. Assuming, that's what I'm assuming, but, nah. You came skipping over to me. Well, hi, you. Didn't I find you here in the other pathway as well? More things change, more they stay the same. Hey, Takeshi, when did you get here? Just now. Looks like you're having a lot of fun. Indeed. I believe, if I remember the other pathway correctly, when I was shown in, uh, I think there were four places to go, four rooms. There was one where Sora was in, where we had a bit of a conversation, one that Skumi was in where we had a bit of a conversation, one where you was in where we had a bit of a conversation, and one that Maya was in that we had almost no conversation at all. None with Takeshi, I don't think, when we had that free time, though, so there's definitely a variation from that. None with Sugumi and none with Coco. Which is interesting, because you'd think Takeshi would have more of a connection with them, but whatever. <laughs> Looks like you're having a lot of fun. But it is fun, isn't it? Doesn't it make you happy? In this time, in the other timeline, when Shonen was with you, this is when you got a bit depressed and started talking about your father, and that's when we started going on that um, route. But is that even a thing in this one? That'll be interesting to find out. <laughs> I always wanted to give this ride a whirl once. That's cool, I guess. You pointed the merry-go-round. Now you finally can, now that you don't actually have to work, right? Don't just turn it on without any warning. You almost gave me a heart attack. Almost isn't quite there, at least. Surprised the heck out of me. Well, at least it's not as, uh... <laughs> oh, you'd wish it was as good as the surprise in Eiko session Tsukumi and uh, Shonen got. I mean, to be fair, if Tsukumi and Shonen got one, maybe Takeshi and you should have one, but no. No, Takeshi should keep his hands off you. No, especially considering his perverted dream, the other pathway. It's not right. Shook my fist at her. In anger. Question mark? I might have been exaggerating a little, but... Oh, how dare you, jerk. Takeshi? How could you be scared of a silly pot of wooden dolphins? Maybe I'm just stupid. Jerk? Gosh. You looked at me sideways and grinned at me mischievously. Oh, you and your mischief. I love it. You always love to put pranks, Takeshi. Are you going to keep that up even when I'm Takeshi? Nobody's supposed to be here in the theme park. It's like a horror movie. Jeez, you're such a chicken. <laughs> I'm just a Yosuke. Don't make fun of me. Yosuke's have feelings, too. You're wasting energy by turning it on, too. What if there were a blackout? Exactly. No idea how long Lemur's backup power is good for. Besides, everybody knows that you should save energy. Honestly, I kind of agree. Like, I'm super conservative about, oh, if you're not using something, off, off. Doesn't matter how long you're not using it for. No, actually it does. If you're only not using it for like a few minutes, then yes. But like, oh, you're not gonna use it for like 10 minutes? Turn it off, turn it off, I can turn it off. But, um, but yeah, I, I'm that way as well. But hey, let her have some fun, why not? I mean, she doesn't have to pay for it, right? And. Um, what we have to worry about more is food, not energy. I'm sure they, they've looked into that anyways, probably. You're not only chicken, but you worry a lot, too. You'd be a drag of a boyfriend. Huh? What are you talking about? It's a common sense. Takeshi, so you don't know? Well, I don't even know about Sora's true identity, so of course I don't know. I'm too stupid. Next, she held her palms out and feigned exaggerated surprise. Oh, I think we heard about this before, yeah. This lemur doesn't get any of its power from outside. Also, note that she said this lemur. It might not matter. It might even be a translation fuck up. But she said this lemur. So, keep that in mind. As opposed to the other leader lemur? Question mark? It's all generated from inside this complex, okay? Down more than 300 feet underwater on the ocean floor and thermal sea floor vents, basically hot springs. So, Lemur takes hot water from there and uses it for steam. Good! I like it. Power that steam is used to turn the turbines, and that's how we generate power. You're getting a little boring, you. A little, a little too expository for my tastes. It's not the fun kind of expository that Shonen likes to listen to. Expository. Oh, 
Well, Lemur is a theme park, it's also a closed psycho plant and a test case for self-sufficient power generation. Yes, we heard about this. Lots of experimental stuff going on, like Sora. Maybe that's why they were trying to keep it a secret, but no, they made it public. So, ah, well, 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 it's just a plot hole. A lot of things with Sora seem to be plot holes. Oh well. And that's all memorized from the new employee manual. And you're, you're even new to the job, so good job, you! Congratulations! You memorized a bunch of boring facts. I see. I explained in all that kind of depth, and all you can say is, I see? How dare you, Baka? I don't like you. You're not as cool as Shonen. Yeah, I know, so what? Maybe I'm more of a Bishojo. Uh, or even a Samin. I mean, what's a wonderful ex. What a wonderful explanation! You're a model employee! I agree! She is. I like her a lot. Hmm. Hmm. And sarcasm. That's no good either, is it? Can't have any victories, can ya? That's great! Oh my gosh! Oh, let me just pretend to, to do that now. Anyways, uh, Takeshi, that was sure a sexy scream you let out when the dolphin started moving. You were scared, weren't you? Oh, now nah, nah, you're just gonna turn it back on me. You're not having your way, so you're gonna make fun of me. Okay. Oh, I'm just imagining his possible sexy scream that we didn't get to hear. Oh! Imagine it like that. Oh! That's my sexy stream. It's, it's, oh! Yep, that's how he screams. It's very sexily. Yeah, I don't know if I call it sexy, but, uh, very cute? Hmm. I think I'll tell everyone about it. Yep, there's always still trying to mischievous on me. Mischievous on me, tattle on me. Still the same you, just with a different perspective. But I still like it just as much. Maybe. Then again, will I really like Yubisei Harukane? As much as Yubisei Akikane? I'd say as far as names go, I like Akikane a little better, but... Uh, we'll see if she's quite as, as... If I like her quite as much. But I gotta hear that again for just a little bit. <laughs> That's the part I wanted to hear. The wow! <laughs> Do what you want. I'm not afraid of you, woman. You can't whip me. Only, only Sugumi can whip me. Ellipses. And again, maybe you shouldn't. Dolphins had stopped moving at their own accord, so, so far no mention of the parents, which could be important. You explained that the ride ran for about three minutes each time before shutting off automatically. We leaned against the fence surrounding the dolphin carousel, or are we going to talk about it now? Maybe. You only work here part-time during the holidays? Oh, serious music. Never mind. Maybe we are going to talk about it. Maybe. Maybe we'll even bring up the biker gang thing, which could still be a thing that we never really went too much into in another timeline. Yep, I started at the end of April, I've been staying here. This is my fourth day. I want to say she was working a lot longer in the other timeline, like she'd been here for months. I could be wrong, but I want to say that's a true fact. And then out of the blue, you got you get this. Pretty rough. How many times do you come to Lima Takeshi? Well, second time counting playthroughs, but uh, first time technically, I think. This is the first time. <laughs> then I've only got a three-day head start on you. Yeah, I guess so if you look at it that way. We can share joy in our misery. You laughed happily. She was sure cheerful. I had to respect her unflagging optimism and energy. You're tough. I mean, this situation is so depressing and it doesn't seem to phase you. Nah, it does phase her. She just doesn't show it. That's what makes her strong. Well, partially. No, I'm really not. It's just easier. I said it earlier, didn't I? Would you rather get depressed? I think it's better to laugh. Exactly! Just like your laugh that we can't hear because you don't have a voice, unfortunately, but I'll do it for you. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, 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 I miss your laugh. <laughs> so, so, so like you. You're right, that's all we can do. I think that laugh sounded less annoying. Maybe that's a difference. In uh, Shonen's timeline, you has an annoying laugh, and this one she doesn't? I do remember that being a thing. Probably one of her biggest downsides. Yu's laugh sounded a bit annoying. <laughs> uh. Although, if you have to pick any downside, an annoying laugh isn't that bad. She laughed again. Let me hear it. Tried to force a smile. 
I'm near the start of that lap. That was a cute little thing, but it was only like one note. I tried to force a smile. Oh, stretch. Cute. Woo! Woo! Kind of like my scream. Oh! You stretch like a cat. Cute. Oh, she's like a cat girl. Ooh, maybe that's what the double bow represents. Like, one bow, actually triple bow, with the back bow, the butt bow. Like, cat ears. It symbolizes that she's more of a cat person, cat girl person. Ooh, now I am imagining things. Oh, that has to exist. If that does not exist, it must be made to exist. I'm sure it exists. It's the internet. It has to exist. And then she sat there and hugged her knees. Aw, you. I followed suit and sat down next to her. All right. Never really had a heart-to-heart -heart between Shonen and Sugumi. Like, the closest we got was Sugumi bitching us out a little and um, trying to warn us, and that was it. But we seem to be getting a heart-to-heart -heart with uh, you, even though we're Takeshi, so... And it just shows how much of a bitch Sugumi is. Or how nice you is. Or both. <laughs> to tell you the truth? Yes? Parents? Is that still a thing? Is it? <laughs> there it is again. So this still exists even in this timeline. Which would make sense. Maybe if... Maybe if your mother actually is your real mother, and you're the fake mother of Shonen Timeline's you. If that's possibly a thing, maybe. Anyways, I came to work here because I thought my dad might be here. Your dad? Actually, my father worked in the Research and Development Division of Lemur. Research and Development? He worked on a computer program. It's the hologram that Sora uses. The Lemech terminal is in the complex control system. Um, so do you mean the hologram that Sora is, or the hologram that Sora brings up, or both? Because that would be kind of a twist and a weird way to a weird way to bring up that twist randomly in the middle. I think she's more referring to the holograms Sora uses, unless it's both. And, uh, is this her first time learning exactly what he did? I don't know if we ever learned that in Shonen's Pathway. Then again, you had this whole thing about letting go in that one, like, trying to forget about it, or, you know, not caring, so maybe that's part of it. Symbolism. I don't know the details, he worked on all of it from when Lemur was first being built, which was what, roughly 34-ish years ago or something? 40 years ago, something like that? Of course he didn't do it alone. Okay. He had his wife, question mark? He was uh, just one of the members involved in developing the project. Ah, is that so? But my father, yes? Are you going to say missing 17 years ago? My father disappeared one day. Okay, that's still the same. What? He just went missing. What? When? He? Yes, he? This is huge! He's been missing as long as I can remember. But you haven't said 17 years yet. It was when I was one year old, 17 years ago. Nope, okay. That's still the same. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're gonna have to go a little deeper if we want to find the differences or where the roots of the differences are. It's not gonna be that easy. Oh well. 17 years ago. You don't remember your father? Your OG son? Your Oto son? Your. Ogre son? Eh, I don't know. I was trying to find another word, but I couldn't think of one. Anyways, now. I've only seen pictures of movies of him, but is this actually true or is it another fake you? I still think for now I'm holding on to my theory that this you becomes the mother of the you from Shonen's timeline, I think, but uh, we'll see how long that lasts. Unless it lasts forever. I don't really have any memories. Ah, I like Shonen. That's also the same. Everything I just told you I heard from my mother. But why? Why did it disappear? If I knew that, I wouldn't have come here. That four days thing, though, I don't feel like we ever heard that in Shonen's timeline. I feel like she said a few months. 
unless uh, she did and it's just clearly different in this one or she didn't and um, she never mentioned it because I don't remember her mentioning it. Four days is it's a lot more understandable why she never really bothered looking too far into it, but meh. But the only clue to what happened is probably here. Indeed. The last time my father was seen was in Lemur. Gotcha. So I thought that if I came here, maybe I'd find some clue about my father. Gotcha. Okay, now it's kind of going rinse repeat style. Seems like my mom... Wait. Okay, there's a... Fuck up. Seems like my mom has already given up, so I can't count on her. Now give me the voice version. My mom seems to think my dad is already dead. That's weird. That was randomly on voice. That's weird. Dead. The word dead had a heavy ring to it. Indeed. But you know? What do I know? You have a positive outlook? I believe. Okay. I believe that he's alive somewhere. Um, okay. He has to be. Uh, okay, I don't doubt you. Don't get all your panties in a wad. He just went missing. They never found his body. Mmm. A lot of these details are the same. I could still be right about my theory, but the more details are the same, the harder it is to believe the theory. I heard that some of my father's research is being used in the new programs and some of the latest attractions. Like, fun attractions or like Sora is one of those programs? Question mark. Has to be clue somewhere in this place about the work my father was doing. Well, the original. Wait, what? What? Oh, I, I feel like... I feel like I remember saying something about the original and the other pathway as well. I don't remember what it was, though. Like, the original father? That's just something that jumps into my mind, but... I don't think that's what she means. The attraction's already underwater. Oh, this is like a new version of Lemur. A second version? And maybe the other timeline is like a third version. Ooh, 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 maybe? And if that's the case, third eye, third perspective, go to the past, get a perspective in the past? Maybe? Ellipses? Ellipses. After that, we lapsed into silence. I didn't know if I should say something to her. I tried to think of what to say, but I didn't hit, hit upon anything. Duh! Suddenly you stood up. Okay, where are you going? Kind of in the mute for some music. Oh, where are we going to get that? Dance party? I'd like a dance party. Something light and fun if you know what I mean. I think I do, but where are you going to find the music? So I think we get the dolphin spinning again? Question mark? Why do you have a question mark? You don't need a question mark? Stop being question marks. We don't need question marks. Well, you finished looking around. What am I looking for? Am I your errand boy now? I guess. <laughs> I guess I'm your errand boy. With that, she darted away. And there goes our you. Well, is she really our you? She's not Aki Kane anymore. Hmm. Question mark. Hey, you? And she's gone. Dolphin started spinning again. Well, okay. And at least a song didn't start playing. A, a different song, I mean. A more chipper one. She didn't come back. She didn't want to. She was too embarrassed. Looked like she had disappeared to the corridor behind the merry-go-round. Guess I'll get out of here. It was as if the dolphin saw me off. I left the room behind. Cool. Took my PDA from my pocket. Check the time. 17 minutes till the time store had set. And this time we run into Tsugumi, maybe? Wonder where I should hit next. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. 